The storm is coming. The Imperial throne lies empty. The scent of war swirls in the air. Evil awakens. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. You're awake. Oh, thank the stars. There you are, on your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings, all right? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Verini. I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have taken a turn for the bizarre. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or others. You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shyazel. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shyazel? Wise choice. Just give me a moment. There. That should unlock the door. When you're ready, follow me.
There you are. Free as a spring cricket. I hope you intend to keep your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that I'm certain. The name's Norianwe, by the way, of Clan Dorini. Pleased to make your acquaintance. We're bound for a place called the Keyrites Gallery. But first, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the Orbis and falling flat on your ear left you a bit scattered. Find a weapon, and we'll work out the cobwebs. Fair. Of course. I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be as forthcoming as I can. The Keyrites Gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island, built long before my clan arrived. On account of all the doors, the gallery's full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra, Shyazel, emerged from another. I cast an incantation of the steed, snatched you up, and fled as fast as my feet would carry me. I heard the Daedra cursing, followed by some kind of explosion, but I didn't look back. I hope the gallery is still standing. Nothing irresponsible, if that's what you're asking. I'm a member of Clan Dorini's intelligence guild, the Cinderil. More scholar than spy, I assure you. I was conducting some research in the gallery, then pop! You and that monster arrived. The gallery's always been a place of special interest for the guild, but we never quite cracked how it worked. Despite the dangers, this is our greatest breakthrough to date. The guild master will be ecstatic, provided we get it under control. Would it frustrate you to hear that I have no idea? We Dureni are cautious by nature, so the Isle of Bolfiera has many defenses. Magical stone guardians protect many of our sacred sites. But somehow, this Daedra found a way to turn them against us. Ugh, do I have to? If I recall my studies correctly, I'd say it's a harvester. A huge serpentine creature that feeds on souls and magicka. If it finds a way to consume the energies of the gallery, we will be in very serious trouble. Larger weapons like staves and great axes will take both hands to use. You can pair smaller weapons with a shield, or another weapon of that size. The choice is yours. Yes, I think that one suits you. If you change your mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, let's find a spot to practice. This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself while well, I conjure up a dance partner. Let's begin. Quickly now. Impressive. Top marks. Attack. Brilliant. Ready yourself. Quick. Strike while it's off balance. That's the way. Well done. Keep up the defense. Strike hard, now. You're a natural. Protect yourself. Use your heaviest attack. Now some foes will try to restrain you. Quickly, break free. Be ready to break free. Prepare yourself. Now press your advantage with a heavy attack. Interrupt now, before it strikes. Again, hold its attack. When your enemy prepares an attack, 
Good. Now destroy it. Well done. Come speak with me for a moment. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Yes, I'd say we're ready to set out. To reach the Keyride's gallery, we have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. Well, it begins with the door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, we'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. So be prepared to fight. I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? Its influence might linger for a time, but the golems should return to normal before too long. Hopefully. One of the stray golems. We might want to sneak past it. Almost there. Let's hurry.
Right. The entrance to the Kirides Gallery should be east of here. Let's set out. The Kirites Gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Well, this is upsetting. Jeffers' bones. The surge of magicka created by the portals you came through. Oh, it must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Damn! Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory, no, there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. Of course. Let's not tarry too long, though. Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall from Aetherius, charged with raw and very potent magicka. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals and experiments. We Dureni use them as a power source. It's a monstrous sentinel called a gargoyle. I've never seen one fight, but by all accounts, they are far more powerful than the golems we've faced thus far. See that vault to the south. The sky shot is there.
There it is, the Sky Shard. absorb the energy of that shard. Incredible. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate. All right. Moment of truth. Focus on the sky shard. Ah, you did it. With any luck. Let's speak it for a moment. It will respond to the power you absorbed and unlock the gate. I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. Again, I'm just a scholar, but I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. There it is! Send it back to Oblivion! Hopefully, the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Follow me! Look at the central column. I had no idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look. This is the Key Rights Gallery, but not as I remember it. Now I see why we never managed to unlock the gates. Their power comes from this arcane helix. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? Can you believe this? 
Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. Because of you, matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The Second Era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the Adamantine Tower itself chose you. The Keyrite's gallery opened doors to every corner of Tamriel, places I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make, but wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. What, me? No, I've got work to do. The Cinderil will want every bit of this place searched and studied. Since I did the discovering, I'll probably end up leading the effort. Adventure abroad sounds all well and good, but my place is here. Well, fate's sort of a clumsy way to put it. No offense. Honestly, we may never know why you were chosen, but I believe there was intention here. Something, whether it be the stars, the gallery, or the tower itself, placed you here for a reason. Perhaps it followed you to prevent you from reaching your, well, destiny sounds a bit too grandiose. Let's just say to stop you from reaching your potential. Then again, maybe the power of this place brought you here to stop Shiazel. Probably not, but what's a life without unanswered questions, right? Boring, if you ask me. Ha! Huh, an elf can hope. Answering that question will probably keep me occupied for the next hundred years. Is the helix connected to the Adamantine Tower? How does it perceive distant corners of Tamriel? I may never understand it, but I'll do my best. It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of Cyrodiil. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? Excellent. You can visit Stros Mackay in Daggerfall Covenant territory, an island called Canarthi's Ruse that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pact's domain. I don't blame you. Interprovincial intrigue is the basis of my whole profession, and even I find it tiresome after a while. I suppose that widens the map a bit. Well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds practically everywhere. Would you prefer to spend time among my elven kin, the Khajiit of elsewhere, or men of the north and south? According to our spies, the land of the Catfolk is in sorry shape. Imperial holdouts sit upon the throne and a rage of dragons spilled out of the halls of Colossus, burning everything in their path. If it's adventure you seek, you'll find it there. If you take the gate to Vardenfell, you can meet the Dark Elves, and maybe even the God King, Vivek. You could also travel south to Somerset Isle, our ancestral home and the primary seat of power for the High Elves. Always. Though the natives don't make it easy. High Elves of Somerset don't share the Dorenis' pragmatism. They're often too proud to ask for help. But our agents reported some strange activity around the Crystal Tower. It's probably worth a look. According to our spies, the land of the Catfolk is in sorry shape. Imperial holdouts sit upon the throne and a rage of dragons spilled out of the halls of Colossus, burning everything in their path. If it's adventure you seek, you'll find it there. If you take the gate to Vardenfell, you can meet the Dark Elves and maybe even the God King, Vivek. You could also travel south to Somerset Isle, our ancestral home and the primary seat of power for the High Elves. Squeezing information out of the Dark Elves is delicate business. To be honest, we know far less about what's going on in Morrowind than we should. I can tell you that Vivek put out a summons for heroes recently. That's worrying. Certainly. One of these gates up here to go to Western Skyrim, a hermitical kingdom of Nords led by King Svargrim. The other leads to Blackwood, at the southern tip of Cyrodiil. Imperial remnants rule there. The Nords of Western Skyrim are inhospitable, 
to put it lightly. Even so, we've been able to glean a few things. I've read reports about increased vampiric activity in the region. Never a good sign. They need stout adventurers to deal with it. According to our spies, the land of the Catfolk is in sorry shape. Imperial holdouts sit upon the throne and a rage of dragons spilled out of the Halls of Colossus, burning everything in their path. If it's adventure you seek, you'll find it there. Certainly. One of these gates appear to go to Western Skyrim, a hermitical kingdom of Nords led by King Svargrim. The other leads to Blackwood, at the southern tip of Cyrodiil. Imperial remnants rule there. Our agents are investigating a handful of strange Daedric structures hidden away in the swamps near Gideon and Leowin. I honestly couldn't tell you how they got there, but the presence of Daedric anything in Tamriel is always cause for concern. This portal leads to elsewhere. The home of the cat folk is well worth visiting, especially in light of recent events. Reports indicate that dragons re-emerged there. Dragons? Hard to believe, but it's true. The Khajiit could definitely use your help. The dragon returns! Take cover! To the jaws! Claws as long as grain size and wings so wide they blot out the sun. What it did not eat, it burned. Dragons are bad enough, but undead tend to go on without any. We will hunt these necromancers down and end this dragon. The usurper queen feels secure in Rimmin. Why come to me about the dragons? We're about to change that. What happens next is your own fault. I suggest you go and bow before Queen Eraxia, before she has you thrown to their dragons. <laughs>
this, Vol? I'll show that old bully. Who are you? Did Caldethir send you? Well, don't even try to stop me. Oh, well then, greetings. My name is Naramako, and I intend to walk right into this spooky cave and find the works of a brilliant Kajiti mage. Before you ask, yes, it is full of slavering, undead, and yes, I am petrified to the point of weeping. You mean to help? Well, I guess there's no harm in delegating. According to my research, a powerful wizard named Marzulajo used this place as his laboratory. If you find his notes and any memory stones he might have left behind, I would be indebted. Thank you for looking into this, Walker. I can't wait to rub this discovery in that sour-tongued Kaldathir's face. It's always, be careful with this and don't meddle with that. He's just a fat old bully. According to my research, Marzula Joe had a great fondness for animals, just like me. He even discovered ways to bring them back to life. At least I think he did. Fuzzy on the details. Anyway, his notes and memory stones should hold the answers. Yes! You're not going to scold me like Kaldathir, are you? It's just a frog. A single hoppy little frog. What harm could that do? Anyway, he's the one who made me kill the poor thing. And for what? A water-breathing potion? I can't even swim! I, I mean, sort of. Well, guild regulations clearly state that manipulating white souls, the lesser souls of beasts, is completely fine. True, the bylaws don't explicitly endorse putting little white souls into frog skeletons, but they don't prohibit it either! My high elf alchemy professor. And a heartless, saggy faced brute. I'm a member of the Mages Guild, you see. To progress, I have to show proficiency in potion making and such. He's a meanie! Every potion we make includes some terrible reagent, like a baby newt or a sweet little toad. I don't even like to hurt fleas, let alone innocent amphibians. It's called the Abode of Ignominy. <laughs> Say that five times fast. I did a bit of research before I set out, but I didn't find much. A few cryptic references to a temple that collapsed into a sinkhole or some such. Well, when the name includes the word ignominy, it's a safe bet that it's nothing good. I found a reference or two to Mafala, the clan mother of dark secrets. Probably something to do with her. Ooh, gives me the shivers.
A land of fertile valleys and grand hills. But enough about Rajin's past romances, yes? My sweet boy, I don't... It's not fair. You were so young. So young. I'm going to fix this, boy. I'm going to bring you back. I promise.
sugar snout! Stop! You're killing him! I never intended... What did I do wrong? This isn't you, sweet boy! This isn't you! This is a little unorthodox, but I just felt horrible about what happened. 
bringing you back to life is an imperfect solution, I know, but I am confident you'll get used to this uh, uh, new beginning. No! Stop it this instant, please! I can fix this. I just need to paint a restraining wall to... T Stop! What are you doing, Zorir? No, 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 no! No, don't do that! Don't do that! Ah, ah. Not that I had any doubts, mind you. So, success? Did you find Marzula Joe's notes and memory stones? A cinch, tiger? That's remarkable! If he managed that, the frog should present no challenge at all! Thank you so much, Walker. When I publish about this, I'll be sure to mention your contribution. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Kaldathir's face. I wonder how long after death you can perform these rituals. Do you think they would work on something smaller, like a mosquito? So many questions! Oh, let's not overreact. Advanced spellcraft is as much an art as it is a science. Sure, he may have encountered a few bumps along the way, but that's to be expected. I won't fall into the same traps. Trust me.
SUSUL AKU